Hello guys, welcome back. Today I've got a completely tileable item sorter. So you just um, tile these along and then put a water stream over the top of the hoppers. And then when the items will go in, they'll only go into the one that it's set to. So this one sets spider eyes, so if I just chuck anything in, it won't work. Unless I check it, uh, chuck in a spider eye, and then it'll just go straight through. And you'll see they're now down in this chest. Now I've set up um, a couple of demonstrations over here. However, this one uses just water, and as I'll show you now, if I chuck in an item that will go to the end, that it bounces over the hoppers if you chuck them down the middle. That one I chuck to the side, so if I just do it again and try and get it down the middle this time. As you can see, it hops over. So that's why this way is unreliable, because sometimes it skips hoppers. So that's why I choose to do it this way. Use soul sand over the um, underneath the water stream, and then the items can still filter through into here, but they don't jump about and they go slowly, so it, um, it is much more reliable. So as you can see, I've just set these different things. Um, like this one, for example, is just the empty one, so all the items that either aren't stackable or are just um, odds and ends that you don't know just go straight to the end. However, all the drops, like these, are all set to like mob drops. So if I now just get some mob drops out and chuck in some random ones, you'll see that they'll all filter through along the way. So if I just chuck these in as well, these will go along until they get to the right path, to the right um, underneath the right hopper. And then it will just go along. See that one? There you go. There's them two going in. So them two will be rotten flesh and string, and then the bones will obviously be a bit further along. I think they're at the end. And you can obviously just label up the chest down the bottom. So this one will just go in when it's found the right one, which is looking like the second last one. There you go. And now you've got all your bones in here, all your rotten flesh in here, and all your string in here. Now obviously this is a very versatile system, so you can um, customise this to whatever you like. You can make whatever mob drops, or um, you can make it to materials from caving, so you just chuck them all in one box. And then they like filter out, so put them on a clock, and then they automatically get sorted into like the different ores and stuff. So yeah, it's very versatile and very easy to build. So that's why there's not even going to be a tutorial because it is one wide tileable. So you just make this little shape: redstone, redstone. Repeat it down here, comparator up here, and make sure the hoppers are both facing into this way. So from like outwards, if they're facing, if the top one's facing down, then obviously. Um, then it won't work because they'll all filter through here anyway. And also, this one needs to be facing this way, obviously, because it can't go down as there's a redstone torch. So they're just two really important notes to make. But it's that simple, guys. So that's all there is for today, and I'll see you next time.